Our next guest is an eyewitness to the deadly shooting inside that Walmart. She says she worked alongside the shooter one day uh, before the tragedy and was inside of that break room when the suspect opened fire. Her name is Brianna Tyler. Uh, she's only been a Walmart employee, she tells us, for a couple of months, and she joins us now live from her home. Brianna, thank you for taking the time for being with us. H how, are you? how are you? How are you doing today? Um, I'm still processing things. Um, I can't get the visual out of my head, but for I'm okay physically, of course, but just mentally and emotionally, it's definitely a lot to take in. It definitely I'm is sure. a lot, but I'll be okay. I mean, I I'm glad to hear that, uh, being able to, to focus on that, I, I can't imagine. Uh, so tell us about those moments. You said processing it. What are you processing? Uh, well, I was literally just getting to work. Our shift is from 10 to 7, 10 p.m. to 7 a.m. Um, I got there a few minutes late, about 10.06 is when I clocked in um, on my phone. I walked to the break room like normal. That's where we have our nightly meeting of where everyone's going to be, you know, stocking their particular section. And, you know, I'm just standing there. Um, there were a few things that seemed like off to me about that whole night that just, they stick out to more to me now that that situation has happened. Um, like just different things like the the maintenance man who actually the first person to end up getting hit he actually went around the entire room and gave everyone trash bags which he doesn't normally does so that stuck out to me and then like when i walked in the room something in me told me not to sit down i don't know exactly what hmm. it was but something just said just stand up just stand up and i just stood up the entire time and as soon as the team lead said he was about to get the meeting started he said all right guys we have a really light night tonight and as soon as he said that, the supervisor or the manager just came around the corner and literally just opened fire and just started swaying his arm back and forth. He didn't have a target. He didn't, you know, he wasn't aiming for anybody specifically. He literally was just shooting in, across the entire break room. It's terrifying. I mean, that just sounds unimaginable. And how did, how did you keep yourself safe? You just hit the deck? Did you run? I honestly at first I froze because I thought I was in like a simulation. It felt like it felt fake in in the in the very moment because I'm literally looking at this man and I see the smoke leaving the gun, but it's just not registering to me because I've I think it was the fact that I recognized his face. If it were someone that I had never seen before, then I feel like it would have been realer in that moment. But the fact that this is somebody that I worked with and I talked to and I was next to every day, it was just like this can't be real. And so I saw all of my coworkers you know, diving onto the floor, and I'm just looking around like, what's going on? And then once I saw blood, I was like, oh, this is really real. And then that's when it processed that, like, you have to run or you're gonna die. And then I just booked it through the store, and all I kept saying was, don't trip, don't fall, don't look back, just run. I and that's exactly what I did. I just ran straight for the front door. Cannot imagine what you went through. Tell us, uh, what you, if you can, a little bit about the supervisor, about the shooter. You said you felt uneasy. Uh, about that employee meeting leading up to the shooting. Uh, was it because of something about the supervisor, about the shooter? Not necessarily that night, like not necessarily last night, but I would say he was just the supervisor that everyone warned everybody else about. So when you, when you first started at that job, it was like, okay, this is the supervisor that is most likely gonna pick on you or he's gonna have an issue with what you do and things like that. So, you know, I, I had it noted in the back of my head that, you know, oh, okay, cool, you know, we might run into an issue, but I never thought that it would be anything to this extent. Cause like I said, he didn't say anything. He didn't point to anyone specific. He didn't aim at anyone specific. It was like he was just out to get any and everybody that he worked with. He genuinely just did not care. And Brianna, you said it was a, it was a handgun that he was using? Yes. Have you got a sense of mm -hmm. how many shots he got off? Uh, he let off weed. probably about eight to ten in the, in the break room alone. Like he was just literally just swaying his arm back and forth and he was just shooting. I would say he let a, about a whole clip out, I would. And Brianna, you, you, you say you've been working at, at that store for just a couple of months. Uh, mm -hmm. What more can you tell us about the suspect? Uh, was, did you have a sense that this was a guy who wasn't right? Uh, I mean, he always gave off like he was like the loner type, like he was, he was quiet into himself, I will say that. He just, you know, he gave off the vibe that was just like, you don't talk to him unless you have to. Like, I've never once had like a, 
joyous, fun conversation with him. It was always about work, and that was it. So, whereas with everybody else, you know, a lot of people, they laugh, they joke. I have other supervisors that I can, you know, talk to casually. But with him, it was always just like a straight shot. Okay, this is what we're doing. This is what it is. So, he wasn't like the fun, bubbly type of person. So, I genuinely, I can't really say anything about him other than everybody just about had had a, a, a trivial issue with him at one point. But... Nobody. Right. I don't think anybody could have ever guessed that he would take it to this extent. Right. Whatever this is, he kept inside of him. Now, how, how has the store and the company responded to employees after the shooting? Have, have you heard from, from anyone to reach out to you, make sure you're okay, you're doing all right, do you have what you need? I haven't heard from anyone officially. I have talked to um, my other coworkers, and they've asked that, you know, if I was okay. Um, there were coworkers outside of the store last night, of course, after everything happened, so we were all checking in with each other. Um, someone did come up to me and get my first and last name and make sure that, you know, I was accounted for in the group of the employees, but I haven't spoken to, like, any, like, corporate or any, like, a store manager or anything like that. No, not yet. No, sir. You, you know, Brianna, I, I must say I'm, I'm just so Im impressed with how strong you are in this moment. It's Thank a terrifying, you. terrifying Thank situation. I mean, have you learned, I mean, it's early, but have you learned something about yourself and about, uh, about life? Or is that just a ridiculous question? No, not ridiculous at all. I would honestly say, um, even though it is still early, I know that I'm handling the, and I know it's gonna set in more, but I know that I'm handling this a lot better than most people. So I would just say it's definitely taught me how strong I am. Um, and just to really live life to the fullest. Like I'm, I'm 28 and I have a four year old son and that, seeing my life flash before my eyes, I feel like it definitely taught me that life can literally be taken from you at the blink of an eye. Like you can be doing something as innocently as trying to go to work and your life can get taken from you that fast. So I would just say, just reach out to the ones you love, keep an open relationship with them do your best like just be a good person because at the end of the day you genuinely never know when you will look your child or your mother in their eyes again mm. amen to that brianna tyler we want to thank you very much for being with us we want to wish you a happy thanksgiving and and the thanks that you have you. for making it out you know communicate something to all of us so thank you very much for being with us good luck thank you no problem i appreciate you all thank you Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.